Hi everybody, this is Martina and this is Natural Nerd. This time I want to show you this really cool LED decoration I made. I used some acrylic glass to make this and cut my motive into it. You can basically make any motive you like, but this time I chose the circuit board as my inspiration. Let's get started! I was lucky to get these pieces for about 20 bucks. I don't know about the rest of the world, but in Norway that's really cheap. In this build we'll only be using a little piece of it, so I'll have plenty left for other projects. For the design I want to make, I'm gonna need three slim pieces of acrylic. They can be a real challenge to cut, but with a hacksaw it's... well, doable. Just don't give up. When all the pieces were done, I drew some circuit board inspired designs on paper, and then I traced the lines with a scalpel. To carve out the pattern, I'm going to use my Dremel, which, by the way, is an awesome tool. If you don't have one, well, I'd consider getting one if I were you. This was really tedious, and my hand, it was aching when I was done. The effort was worth it though. Taking off the protective film was the best thing that happened to me that day. I got this piece of wood that's going to act as the base of the structure. It has to be heavy enough to keep the glass in balance, and also thick enough to make space for the electronics. I measured out two equally sized pieces and cut them out. The electronics will be put in the room underneath the stand. Before I glued the wood together, I took the piece that will be placed at the bottom and cut the triangular shape with a jigsaw, as that will be hard to do later. I applied generously with glue and clamped the pieces firmly in place. I let the glue set overnight and then I removed the clamps. I drew the triangular shape I wanted and cut it out. The circle saw didn't cut deep enough so I had to finish the cut with a handsaw. Using an electrical planer I evened out the sides of the stand. Turns out I'm a genius and I made two deep cuts with a planer which made the wood crack and it ruined my triangle. So instead I went for a design with cut off sides which didn't turn out so bad after all. To make the edges a little smoother, I cut them diagonally with a hacksaw and then sanded the whole thing down. To make the acrylic glass down in place, I needed some perfectly sized holes. Using the drill I made several small holes, which I chiseled out and filed down to make it smoother. When I was happy with how everything looked so far, it was time to add some stain to the wood. I went for some quite dark brown stain, which I think will be a nice contrast. I found out I needed some supports for the acrylic glass, as they didn't stay in place. For this, I just used some leftover pieces I found around and glued them on. This is an RGB LED strip. We need a power, a ground and a signal wire. It's shipped with 5 wires, so I just removed 2 of them and soldered the ones I needed back on. Then I cut out 3 short strips, which I needed for my acrylic glass, and soldered them all together. Both the LED strip and the Arduino takes a 5V input, so we can power the Arduino with this power supply and power the LED strip with the Arduino's 5V output pins. Once that was done, I connected the signal cable from the strip to the Arduino. The code was written using the fast LED library. I'll include the link to the library in the description below. Time to put the last pieces together. After putting the glass in the sockets, I attached the LED strip to the bottom using hot glue. I filed out a little channel on one side of the stand, just to make room for the power cable. And that's it! Let's look at the result. It was a lot of work, but in the end, it was really worth it. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week.